Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to control a LED, aka light emitting diode, and we are also going to learn some few tricks into the Arduino IDE. So first, to get started, you need to connect your light emitting diode LED as follow. You need to add a 220 ohm resistor, two jumper wires. So now, one is connected into uh, the digital port 2. So, and the ground is connected to the ground on my Arduino. Hope you noticed that I am using the Arduino Uno. This is the breadboard. So now, let's get started. The first thing to do is to declare this light emitting diode, aka LED. So we're going to say int, we're going to call it LED, then put it into pin 2. Then, we need to specify that this light emitting diode is an output so we're gonna say pin mode then specify LED and make it an output then if we want to turn it on we want to go ahead and say digital right because this is a function used to turn on a digital value so we're gonna say LED now which is the pin where our LED is connected we're going to go ahead and put it high. Then I'm going to hit upload, which means I am uploading the code to my, to my Arduino. Then you can see that after I upload, the light is on. So let's say that we need to blink this LED. Wait like a half second, then turn it off again, just like that and so forth. So to do that, we need to add a little delay, which is the time the LED is going to take uh, being on, let's say a half second. Then we're going to go ahead and digital, right? Now we take our LED, which is light emitting diode, and put it low. We also want to wait a little moment. Also, want to wait a little moment before we switch it back on. So we're gonna wait a half second. Then let's hit upload. So if this works correctly, we're gonna see the light emitting diode blinking. So we have an error. What is wrong? Okay, I spelled digital. So just like that. Now let's hit upload. So I think if it works pretty fine according to plan the light will be turning on and off by waiting a half second. So, okay, now let's say that we want to turn this LED, I mean, or LED, or maybe light emitting diode, through an, in an input from a user. First, let's learn how to display something onto the serial monitor. Let's go ahead and clean this, then go ahead and say, Okay, I'm going to leave this. Maybe let me uh, let me comment it. Then let's go ahead and say and define our serial monitor. So, to do, to do that, we need to do to say serial dot begin. Then we are going to put something in here that is called the baud rate. The baud rate we need to use 9600. This is more like the speed through which the communication from uh, from the PC to the Arduino through this serial cable goes. So I'm gonna say, so to display something now on the serial monitor, I'm gonna say serial.print, maybe print line, then say hello world, just like in other programming languages. So then we're gonna hit upload, wait a little moment. You can see that after I upload, this light, this light emitting diode will go off because there's nowhere we're telling it to be on. So it's off and it says down uploading. So I need to open my serial monitor. The serial monitor is this little search looking button that is on the right corner. So if I click it, you can see that we have hello world being displayed. So this is the serial monitor. Now let's say that we need to add maybe one then turn on the LED. If we put zero, we turn off the LED. So to do that, we need to first specify 
a value to grab a value maybe a variable to grab the value that we are going to put in here in this you know input input box so to do that we need to define int let's call it entry at first let's make it zero then we can go ahead and uncomment this line to make our lead an output then go down here and say so if something is entered into this serial monitor we need to check that to check that we can say if if condition open and close bracket go down so now we need to check if the serial monitor there is something we use a function that is called if I mean serial dot available available so if it's greater than zero that means something is entered a value has been entered now here entry will be equal to serial dot read now we read something that the user has entered into the serial monitor just like this now we need to kind of judge what kind of value has been entered if it's one we need the light to be on if it's zero we need the light to be off so now we're gonna say if if now open and close let me go ahead and say entry echo we need to use strings let's put one so if it's one we need to turn on the the LED so we're gonna say digital as we did before digital right then go ahead and say lead then we put it high now else else if this is the time when it's zero now we need to say entry when now if entry equal let's say zero now we need our lead to be off so now we're gonna put this one to low then let's maybe add the default one which is else let's say in case someone enters something that is invalid now we can print something and say serial dot print print line to add a space under then say invalid invalid input so um, I hope if we upload this, let me go ahead and, you know, so let's hit upload now. I hope everything, after everything is uploaded successfully, if I go to back to my serial monitor, just like this, then type in one, press enter, you can see that the LED is on. If I put zero, then click enter, you can see that it's going off. So this is very useful sometimes for people who need you know use python javascript and some other programming language to kind of control these arduino uh, and led through those programs you can sometimes need to use this serial communication to control this so now until next time guys see you and yeah